Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best YouTuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, welcome to Rufio. My name is Joe. This is the how to play video for Ricca. One of these kind of weird decks that looked like it was going to take off and hasn't really, but we're going to assess it either way and hopefully give you a really good basic working knowledge of how to play this deck. A crash course, if you will, in what to do. We're going to have an example deck list. We're not going to cover too many lines of play or anything like that. We are going to discuss what options you may have, some external extenders for the deck and some options that you can use as support cards as well as the cards that are in the deck and then hopefully you'll have some idea of how to play this is intended to give you a really solid foundation whether you want to pick the deck up to play or maybe you just have that one dickhead who won't stop beating you one of your friends that plays the deck and you can't seem to get the edge on him well hopefully you'll walk away from this video and it's not too long a one but it is probably worth your time in learning. Thank you for making it through the first minute or so of this video. If you haven't already, of course, you should definitely be hitting subscribe, but I'm going to stop waffling and we're going to get stuck right in to this trash tier content. The Ricca archetype made its debut into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG in Secret Slayers, a set released in April 2020, and we'll see at least one more card that we know of released in the near future in Rise of the Duelist, but we'll cover that later. The deck's name in OCG is Snowflower, which is fitting given the appearance of the cards and the fact that they're all water attribute plant type monsters. The word Rika is a poetic word meaning snow, but the kanji used for this are the words for six and flower. A reference to the appearance of snowflakes, but also like a six pointed flower. Hopefully that makes sense. On the note of the appearance of these cards, they are all, so far at least, females varying in age, with the youngest members being the lower levels and the older ones being the high levels, all of these appearing to hold some sort of umbrella in their artwork. It's not yet known how this deck will perform overall in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, however it's widely agreed that whilst this deck won't likely see any top level play, it does have some fantastic synergy with plenty of existing broken plant support as well as being able to take advantage of some of that water support as well, and could well be an extremely fun deck to try your hand with at locals or the like, potentially even go into the likes of regionals. So I can hear the question on the tip of your tongue. So tell me. How does one play the Ricca deck? Well, I'm glad you asked, Duelist. The main aim of the deck is simply tributing monsters as a cost for beneficial effects. This is done from both sides of the field, so it can act as a way to use your opponent's resources to your advantage, or using your own to proceed with your plays. When tributing for the spell and trap effects, you usually gain additional benefits by tributing plant type monsters. The deck's usual aim is to try and get to teardrop the Ricker Queen, who will help keep you control over the board, interrupting your opponent by tributing their monsters in their turn. The deck also has a great ability to manipulate the levels of monsters in the archetype, which can allow easy access to ranked toolbox cards for the extra deck. The deck does have its drawbacks though, primarily being that it can be a little bit sluggish to get going, so it requires a good use of resources as you'll be punished heavily if you don't. The lack of speed in the deck does put this into a position of being disadvantaged against the top decks in the game, but the ability to interrupt the opponents through tributing of their cards can be an excellent form of disruption that many decks simply don't have an inbuilt way to deal with particularly easily. For the next part of this video, I'll be looking over the current existing Ricca cards from the Secret Slayers set, and also a card expected to be released in Rise of the Duelist. We'll be starting off with the main deck monsters and moving on from there. As with all of these videos, I'll be glossing over the effects somewhat, however the cards will be shown on the screen so you can read everything as needed correctly, although given that we're all Yu-Gi-Oh players, it's likely you won't be reading a fucking thing. We start off with Ricca Petal. During your main phase, you can add a Ricca monster from your deck to your hand, or send it to the graveyard. Also, you cannot special summon other than plant monsters for the rest of this turn. During the opponent's end phase, whilst this card is in the graveyard and you control no monsters, or they're all plants, you can special summon this card. Each effect is a hard once per turn. We have Cyclamen the Ricca Fairy. 
you contribute this from your hand or field, then reduce the levels of up to two plant monsters you control by two until the end of this turn. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard because it was tributed and sent there this turn, you can special summon this card but banish it when it leaves the field. Each effect is a hard once per turn. We have Primula the Ricka Fairy. If a monster you control is tributed except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. You can increase the level of up to two plant monsters you control by two until the end of this turn. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Erica the Ricka Fairy. When an attack is declared involving another plant monster you control, you can tribute this card from your hand or the field, and that monster you control gains a thousand attack and defense until the end of this turn. If a plant monster or monsters you control are tributed whilst this is in the graveyard, you can special summon this card in defense position, but banish it when it leaves the field. Each effect is a hard once per turn. We have Mudan, the Ricka Fairy. Contribute a plant monster and special summon this card from your hand. If this is special summoned by the effect of a plant monster, you can add a Ricka spell or trap from the deck to the hand. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Hellebore, the Ricka Fairy. When your opponent activates a monster effect that targets a monster or monsters you control whilst you control a Ricka monster, quick effect, you contribute this card from your hand or on the field and negate the effect. If this card is in your graveyard, you contribute a plant monster and special summon this card in defense, but banish it when it leaves the field. Each effect is a hard once per turn. And lastly, we have Snowdrop the Ricker Fairy. You contribute a plant monster to special summon this card and one other plant from your hand. Also, you can only special summon plant monsters for the rest of this turn. You can target a plant monster you control. All plant monsters you control become that monster's level until the end of this turn. Each effect is a hard once per turn. For this next part, we're going to cover the in archetype support for the extra deck. We start off with Kanzashi the Ricka Queen. It requires two level six monsters. If a monster or monsters are tributed except during the damage step, you can detach a material from this card, then special summon a monster from either player's graveyard. Its effects are negated and it becomes a plant monster. If a plant monster you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can tribute a plant monster from your hand or field instead. Each effect is a hard once per turn. Teardrop the Ricka Queen. This requires two level 8 monsters. You can detach a material from this card, then tribute a monster on the field. This effect is a quick effect if this card has a plant monster as material. You can only use this effect once per turn. Each time a monster or monsters are tributed, this card gains 200 attack for each until the end of this turn. Our final card in this section is due to be released in Rise of the Duelist. Given that the name is not official in English, this may change somewhat. Strenai the Ricker Queen. It requires two level four monsters. You can detach a material from this card, then target a Ricker or plant monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. If this card with material is tributed, you can special summon one rank 5 or higher plant, exceed monster from your extra deck or graveyard, and then you can attach this card as material. Each effect is a hard once per turn. For this next part, we'll be covering the in archetype spell and trap support for Ricker. We start off with Ricker Flurries. If a Ricker monster you control is tributed, you can make your opponent tribute one monster they control of their choice. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per turn, during your opponent's end phase, if you control a face-up non-plant monster, this card is destroyed. We also have Ricker Glamour. When you activate this card, you can also tribute a plant monster to add a Ricker monster from the deck to the hand. Then, if you tribute a monster when you activate this card, you can add a plant monster with the same original level as that Ricker monster, but with a different name from the deck to your hand. You can only activate one Ricker Glamour per turn. That's a little bit weird and may take you some time to get your head around. And unfortunately, it doesn't stop there. Ricker Sheet. Target a face up monster your opponent controls. Also, you contribute a plant monster. Players cannot activate that face up monster's effects until the end of this turn. Then, if you tribute a monster when you activate this card, you can take control of that monster until the end phase. And if you do, it becomes a plant monster until the end phase. You can only activate one Ricker sheet per turn. 
And lastly, we have Ricca Tranquility. When you activate this card, you can also tribute a plant monster. Special summon one Ricca monster from your graveyard in defense position. Then, if you tribute a monster when this card is activated, you can special summon a plant monster from your graveyard in defense position. You can only activate this card once per turn. For this section of the video, we're going to take a look at some of the non Ricca support. As with most decks, Ricca can benefit hugely by choosing to employ some support not initially intended for the deck. This indirect support can push the ceiling and consistency of the deck overall, and the following are some examples of cards you could consider using in your own builds. Evil Thorn Evil Thorn is a plant card which can trigger all kinds of Ricca effects through tributing itself, as well as allowing you to gain additional resources onto the board quickly. This can be a fantastic addition to the deck. There is also the infamous Lone Fire Blossom. Lone Fire Blossom also loves a good tribute, it thins the deck, and essentially acts as an extra copy of basically any monster in your deck. What is not to love? We also have Titanial Princess of Camellius. Once again, this card just involves more tributes. It can really help bolster the control aspect of the field. The only downside being is that it's a standard monster with no inbuilt way to special summon itself, but cards like Lone Fire Blossom can speed up this process. It could be a bit bricky, but it's sure to add much strength to your board. We also have Copy Plant. This card is a tuner, and so that alone says much in the current format, with the likes of Halka Fibrax dominating the meta. But it also, its ability to match levels with another card means that it's got easier access to Exceed monsters, giving you an easy way into many different extra deck options. On that note of Halka Fibrax, I could continue to talk about that, probably for days, but it's all pretty self-explanatory. There are a million combos out there, and this deck is no exception. It can also abuse it, but we won't go into any further detail on that matter. Next, we have Abyss Dweller. We all know how strong this rank 4 monster is, however, given that the majority of your monsters are usually going to be water, you'll give this and your other monsters a huge boost, making it harder to beat over and potentially giving you an extra turn with it on board to block your opponent out from abusing their graveyard. We also have a bit of a weird choice but one that I think could potentially work, Fairy Knight Ingunar. Once again the Exceed train continues. This is a fantastic way to clear up the field and your opponent cannot respond. There's also number 87, Queen of the Night. Another fantastic toolbox monster that gives you attack boosts, flip monsters face down, and can act as a pseudo spell or trap removal, even during both players' turns. We have Aroma Seraphy Jasmine. Once again, more ways to tribute monsters, special summons plans from the deck, and much more. You could also consider Path Extravagance, some free draw power. Considering your extra deck is usually just going to be made up of random utility cards, your main Ricker monsters, actually, you could just run three ofs and get by with those alone. And lastly, we have Mardell, Generator Boss of Light. This is a fantastic way just to get additional resources into your hand. And for our final part of this video, before we go, I do have here a simple sample deck list for you. The idea here isn't to give you something definitive to work with, the idea is just to give you some ideas from which to build on. It's also worth noting that over time this deck list will probably become less and less relevant. It should though give you some ideas of ratios, potential tech options that I haven't included in this, and if there is a desire for more detail on this of course I will highlight it in a separate video if requested otherwise just go ahead and take a screenshot build this deck for yourself and just have a play about with it as always i would recommend using just more than this singular resource i would check out some other potential builds and combo videos and that kind of thing to give you some ideas of where to go again this is just a simple sample deck list somehow you made it all the way to the outro and hopefully you've learned something in this video. If you want to see more of this type of content, I am planning to continue to release these for the foreseeable future, as long as I can keep thinking of goddamn decks to just churn out for people to watch and learn about. But of course, hopefully, they do teach you something and are worth your time and effort. Thank you again for making it this far. Hopefully, if you made it this far, you'll have felt the need to subscribe, maybe even hit that notification bell if you want to see more. Of course, if there is any content that you do want to see, definitely reach out and let me know what you'd like to see. If there's anything you think that I did was a terrible misstep in this video, of course, tell me that. Or if you think I'm absolutely amazing, you are 
probably going to need some professional help sometime soon but thank you anyway and you should definitely let me know I do really appreciate all of those messages that I do often find myself getting these days saying thank you for the content trust me I enjoy putting it out way way too much but thanks again for making it this far hopefully again you've learned something from this video and I will see you in the next one Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.